army up here. Just gonna continue to warp and defuse in here. There we go. Warping an eccentric. Oh man, I really hope he oh, walls off. Gonna, He's gonna force field. Oh my god. Terran army. Is I'm it gonna, gonna, gonna get, get there in time? Oh, the concussive shells are stopping it. No. Oh, oh my god, that marauder coming out. So, close. so perfect. He's got it carefully. He doesn't want to lose that warp prison. Really there's a light. Ouch, Ouch, he's about to lose that warp prison. Warp prison goes down. Oh man, that that would have been amazing had uh, had that force field gone up. Meanwhile, if we look at income, uh, Inca has 56 harvesters to uh, Spooky's 41, so he's actually mining, you know, about 200 minerals per minute faster than Spooky, which is you know, pretty. He big. has been saving the majority of his chrono boosts for his nexus, so he's really been powering up a lot of roads. Getting storm. Fantastic move. Storm is so good against infantry like Marines. Not quite as good against Marauders, but it still does a bunch of damage. Um, but it will just kill Marines if the Terran is not extremely quick with their micro. So going for this extremely heavy Marine army with, you know, essentially just no siege tanks yet, although he is starting to build some, is just it's going to be very strong. Especially since you can also use those uh Templar to feedback. Wow, I love this DT place. He's just gonna start taking some hits out on this army before he realizes there there's a scan. Alright, what are our army sizes right now? Uh, yeah, Slurgy's got a quite a big advantage, but Inka was about to expand. Slurgy attacked just a little too soon. If he had waited just a little bit longer, Inka was about to drop that expansion. Now, had he done that instead of spending all that money on the army when he saw the push coming, uh, I think Slurgy might have been able to push up that ramp, but as it is now, he has been trying to build up some defense. Looks like uh, Sergei's over here taking out these units. Meanwhile, Inka's getting himself into a great position out in the middle of the map, so he doesn't get forced by this choke to fight at the ramp. He's sending in dark oh, we've got to be careful. This is not the best Very position. Actually, idea. he gets all his speed zealots in. Not bad. There's a throw fantastic up walls. Don't let the Terran player escape. Throw up the walls. We can force fields here. Yeah, not the best force fields, unfortunately. There we he go. He could have literally killed the entire Terran army had he put the force fields behind the Terran as he stormed. Unfortunately, the force fields were a little bit late. Terran is going to be able to get out some of his army to uh, live to see another day. However, in the meantime, it looks as if um, Inca has gotten his third base, up, or started at least. So not that bad of a move to be, tra to be trading bases at this. Be trading forces at this time. Oh god, be careful, he's got these Templar out in front. Does not want those guys sniped before he realizes what's going on. Does he have an observer in front of his army right now? No. He does not. Oh my god, he's gonna lose those Templar. Oh, oh my god, this is both before sniped. Storm goes off. Wow. Ouch. That is just painful for Protoss when you spend all that money, 150 gas per Templar, which is just so much, and then you don't get the Storms up. Luckily, he does like he, he doesn't think he has the... Uh, he does have another way of a storm from the Right, he has the upgrades with the storm as soon as he spawns for those Templar. Oh, ouch. Not the best storm. Does only hit the Zealots and not hit the Terran army at all, but... I mean, it's nice like that often happen when you're trying to micro in the middle of a battle and there can be lag. The Zealot charges and it does cause them to rush, you know, head first into the oh, storm. Oh, this is another war prison. I'm not sure if the war prison is worth losing the two Vikings, especially because they were helping to scout their army. Oh, nice. I really like late game DT plays. It's just fantastic. If Slurgy doesn't scan, he's just. He's, oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. I thought those, a tank was going to do a lot of friendly fire, but they just died too quickly. Meanwhile, Inca taking some losses here from these tanks. This is what so many Terran players like to do on this map. Inca can. Uh, sorry, Slurgy setting up his tanks there. Inca cannot attack, like, you know, right there at that ramp. He's got to set himself up with a flank, get some of his army here, some of his army here, and attack on both sides. Attacking all very the very up, however. He's got to be so careful right here. There's some storm. Very good micro by Slurgy, just completely dodging all storms, but I don't think it's going to be enough. His army is just so much smaller right now. He's focused firing the Templar down very oh, actually, nicely. wow. I am amazed. Mic they could oh not get off any more storms. God. Really, like, Micro from Slurgy just won in that fight. Unfortunately, Miss Micro there he did take a ton of damage from those two storms. Before those two storms went off, just such good Micro by Slurgy made him uh, really not get demolished there. Finally seeing some more ghost usage in here. I wish he had EMP'd though, he's just, he has enough energy and he's not EMPing with that ghost. He needs to EMP that Immortal and the Templar. Uh-oh. 
There's some lag going on here. Man, Terran about to lose his entire base here. I really feel like EMP could have changed the entire outcome there. EMP would have been a fantastic investment for Terran players in any scenario where you're going against a Protoss player. Ghosts are always useful to have. Inca just take taking a fourth base. base. I mean, Slurgy has gotten this third up now. He's making it to a planetary fortress, but Inca just really securing his advantage, getting up this fourth. I mean, he's just secured himself so much map control with his army and, you know, relatively good micro that, uh, He's able to take that fourth and just really powerhouse his macro. Let's take a look at how many uh, he's got. Uh, seven warp gates here, robotics facility. Unfortunately, I don't see him uh, powering upgrades. He only has one zero upgrades right now. Terran meanwhile sitting at uh, one one on his infantry. He's got to be careful. He's out of position. His this tanks are not sieged. This is terrible. Oh my god. And they oh. both back off wow. without I engaging. Not I was they could not expecting that. that. I mean. With these ravens, uh, this one does have enough to drop a point defense drone, so that's Captain very good. Is However, because he really could have trapped a large portion of the Terran army. Right uh, yeah, there. absolutely. Inca does not have that many stalkers, though, so I mean, point defense drone is not going to affect him all that much. He has so many speed zealots and sentries, which are not affected. Wow, yeah, this this looks like it'll just be the end. This should end point the defense drone goes down way too late. He does not have an EMP on his army at all, taking tons of storm damage, and it looks like this will. Probably be GG, although of course we've missed the planetary that fortress. Might be able to hold off a lot more than you can. Yeah, zealot damage actually is fairly well negated by the armor of the planetary fortress. Yeah, and the planetary fortress just so much splashing. There's the Great job dropping the those storm SCDs. It's got to be careful here with this micro. Oh, slurging losing the entire army. Well, not the entire army, but just taking, taking that full storm. You really just did not need to. How are those? Still a lot. Wow. They're being power healed and uh, auto turrets. But auto turrets. Wow, I can't believe he's actually gonna hold this off. The auto turrets, the tanks, and the amazing healing by the medevacs there. But I mean, it really doesn't matter because uh, Inca did exactly what he wanted to do. He took out Slurgery's third. Now it's four base versus three base. Four Let's get our income tab. Base. Sorry, four base versus two base. He's getting four. Times the economy of Slurgy due to Slurgy's main basically being my nuts is essentially. Oh wow, he did it! Was that a storm drop or something? Wait, is that why there are Archons here? I think I missed that. I'm so sorry. He's just bringing the work with the men. He's actually working yeah, his entire army. Falling off Terran, uh, the Wonderful Terran base, just killing the main. Kill kill really just the last uh, attack. There it is. There's GG. GG. So, uh, wow. 